Hello Aquarius, welcome to your March 2015 love tarot reading. So I will be doing the tarot, um, the Celtic cross spread. I have the Queen of Swords, upright, Knight of Wands, upright, Ten of Wands, in the reverse positions, Page of Swords, reverse, Six of Pentacles, upright, Wheel of Fortune, reverse, Six of Swords, Seven of Wands, reverse, Two of Swords, reverse, The Three of Swords, reverse, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Cups, and the Hermit. Okay, so very interesting spread. So, um, let's talk about first the, let's see, the coupled Aquarius, all right? So this is actually proving to be a very, very good month and of course there's healing energy as well so I feel that for those of you who might have gotten into arguments in the past like within especially you know throughout Valentine's Day um, with the, a loved one that you're in established relationships with or you're in marriage relationships with this is a moment of um, there's a truce that has been reached okay and um, if it hasn't been yet then I feel that it's actually going to play out and the resolution looks very very good for um, uh, the rest of this month so that's definitely you know the a good energy coming in for you and um, I feel that for Aquarius your singles or couple you're at a point where you really know what you want out of relationships you really know like um, what qualities that attracts you that makes um, it worthwhile to be in a relationship with someone so those are the qualities that you try to um, to aim for in your romantic life and in the people that you meet those are the qualities that you value and it's definitely a time in which like it's like an eye-opening experience and you know what you want so you're just going to go ahead with it uh, to pursue those types of people okay so it's definitely you know pursuit of substance rather than um, I guess um, idealism so that would be the the right way to put it I guess um, in the past situation I, d I have the ten of wands in the reverse position so um, a lot of you have gotten out of bad relationships and have entered new very good loving and stable relationships or a lot of you have like gotten out of uh, bad relationships and you would rather be on your own and single rather than deal with that emotional baggage and I feel that it's in your recent past so a lot of you might have gotten out of really unhealthy relationships and now you're at a better, much better place and a much calmer peace of mind too with this Queen of Swords as your root of the matter so it, it's a very good energy okay what's crossing that though Knight of Wands is um, the Knight of Wands, he's sort of looking backwards. So um, this deals with, you know, like I mentioned earlier with the Capricorn reading, it deals with the libido, it deals with the passion, and it deals with, you know, something that really stirs you, and it makes you feel really passionate. And um, with him crossing like this and sort of looking back at the past, I feel that that past situation was, um, you know, either there was a lot of like physical chemistry without, you know, a lot of emotional support, or it could be a situation in which, you know, that person really um, fulfilled you, you know, physically and kept like, um, there was a lot of chemistry within that relationship, but, you know, chemistry doesn't, it would help in a healthy relationship, it definitely helps. Um, but in an unhealthy relationship, it could actually be like an addiction, a really bad um, way to... I Okay, so I guess like um, what it is is having the physical chemistry is not enough to make that relationship last, okay? But you're looking at it as if, you know, that's what you really want from your new relationships. And I feel like a lot of the new relationships, um, it doesn't have that type of like intensity and that's what you really really want all right so from the get-go it's not going to but I would advise you just based on the way the cards are laid out it definitely has more sustaining power rather than this burst of you know intense energy that dissipates you know that just like dwindles out the what's coming in for you is um, energy that is a lot more stable a lot more um, and relationships that are a lot more healthier for you too so um, I, I see you know like this month is actually looking better and this relationship is gone for a reason and you know in the process of leaving it I feel that um, a heavy load has been lifted off you and you're now in a much better place okay 
Um, in terms of what's coming in, I have the Page of Swords in the reverse position. And um, this is basically um, for those who are in coupled and single. It's um, very important that, you know, I'm, I'm sensing this is the people that will be coming into your mist. They tend to be younger and they tend to be a little inexperienced when it comes to, um, I would say, social etiquette. Okay, so um, they in the reverse position like this, I would say like they would make promises like, oh, let's do this next week. And then they don't follow through. They don't follow up with you on it. Whereas, you know, you're at a very mature um, and emotionally stable. You're in a very mature, emotionally stable state of, fr state of mind and you don't really tolerate that. So it's really important for... Um, for you to know who these people are and try to avoid them. If you're in established relationships as well, and this is an ongoing problem, then it's definitely time to tell this person that, you know, let's not do that because I don't really have time to, to plan all these things if you don't mean it, okay? So it's important to let the other person know where you stand, especially when um, their actions affect you. And I feel like they're not really aware that they affect you that way. So they're not um, aware that, you know, once you make plans, you keep them, and God forbid, if anything happens, you try to get there on time. They don't really understand that. So, you know, make sure you get that out of the way, all right? And um, I feel that your partner and your potential love interests are going to be a great source of emotional and physical support this month, all right? So it's, um, I see a very, like, balanced give and take in the relationship as well. And either you are going to help them tremendously or they will help you. And I feel that it might be them helping you more. And they're basically um, a shoulder for you to lean on. So in the process of dating again, too, I just feel that physically um, the person that you've chosen to be with, they're going to be a tremendous source of support in every aspect, in every way. Even financial support, too, for those who are established. And then for those who are like uh, dating or who are still single, the people you meet actually are actually very good people and they're very helpful. They have a very uh, good heart, okay? Um, as for, you know, the whatever is um, in your subconscious or in your surrounding that you're not aware of, I have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse position, which indicates that... Um, Timing might be a little uh, off this month. It's sort of like um, you might have like misconnections or there might not be enough opportunities for those of you um, to, to really meet the person, to really spend time with the person that you like, okay? So in established relationships too, you might be too busy with work and things like that. Or, you know, if you have a crush on somebody, if you're dating somebody, you both are very busy so the t a window of uh, the time frame in which you have to meet each other is extremely limited because I do see that March is going to be a busy month for Aquarius. So, um, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, that that's it's, indi it's indicated um, that there is a shortage of time to get everything done in order to make time for the other person and them as well. So don't feel like, um, don't feel, you know, um, slighted because I feel that you know, the time is a big factor for both parties, okay? So it, it's mutual. Um, as for the advice here, this is a very good card. Let bygones be bygones, okay? With the Six of Swords, move on to a better situation and as well move on to a place where uh, there's less pettiness. So I feel this is, you know, generally this is just good advice across the board, but um, with this Three of Swords in the reverse position here, this is definitely healing, and healing is finally, you know, um, being achieved. And this is a really good thing to have, you know, as the advice here. Just let bygones be bygones. If you're getting back with that person, then, you know, let the past go and start over. That would be my thing. Still be cautious if you're, you know, getting back with an ex, but um, let bygones be bygones. Otherwise, this relationship will never work if you can't get let the past go. If you're starting new, date entirely new breed of people. You know, get yourself out there and date somebody who doesn't, um, who is not exactly your type. It's time to really experiment and do something different, okay? Because the past, obviously, had to be left behind because it didn't work out. So, you know, newness is definitely coming in. As for your external environment, what I have here is the seven of... Um, the Seven of Wands, and it's shown up in the reverse position, okay? So, um, this is also like, um, 
an energy that is urging you to be a little more easygoing. I feel that, you know, with this Queen of Swords here, your little... Let me wait for that siren to pass. Okay, so you're a little guarded too. I mean, you your heart is like open, you know, and you're healing. But you're still a little guarded based on that past situation. So with this card, it's it's important, you know, to defend your, your beliefs and things like that. But don't do that on the first date and don't scare off potential love interests just because you're so passionate and, and adamant about the way you feel and expressing your uniqueness, okay? So tone down a little bit and try not to scare them off. In terms of your hopes and fears, a lot of you, and I feel like it's shown up here too, a lot of you um, might be deciding between two people. Um, I feel that with this in the reverse position though, I, I feel that you've made up your mind about who you want to date or if this hasn't happened yet, I feel very strongly that it's going to come into the picture and just based on the way the cards are laid out, okay, I do have the Knight of Pentacles, an Earth sign and a Water sign. So you might have to make a choice here and I feel that um, you're, going to, you're going to go with an Earth sign just because the Hermit is shining his light this way. So actually, let me know how this plays out for you because this is very interesting. Um, whoever you pick, though, I feel that you know they're, they're both good people and it's going to help a lot with the healing process. But um, it, it's just interesting. The Hermit is here and he's shining light on this person. And it, it's telling you, like, this is the one that you want. Because this person, you know, being knight and page, this person is a little more grounded, a little more emotionally mature, and um, is more stable. And I think, like, you know, based on the past stability, moving forward, stability is what you really want. So that's a great thing to have. So um, at the same time, I feel that, you know, you're going to approach life and love in general with a little more discernment which is always good. Um, for those who are estab in established relationships, if you are choosing to um, either take a trip, like a, a road trip or something like that, or like go on a cruise with your partner, I would advise you to take the road trip. Don't take a trip like by plane or by, um, I, I, I feel like, okay, the safest route is if you were to take a road trip, like a short road trip would be preferable rather than fly. And then taking a, um, a, a cruise would be fine too, but the most preferable one would be um, the road trip, just because it's there are less room for surprises. Okay, you have like everything under your control, and you're driving your own car, so then uh, there the element of surprise is just uh, reduced. And at the same time, I feel that um, this is not a good month in general. You're going to be very busy, actually. This is not a good month in general to uh, take trips, but if you must then uh, do like a short getaway by car. That would be the best option, okay? And in general, the people around you are going to be a great source of uh, help and support, okay? And uh, for those in established relationships too, like um, the energy that is playing out, I feel that um, if you're a female, then the, the men in your life are going to be very um, strong and dependable. Emotionally and physically, they're just very strong, dependable. If you're a male, I feel that you have to like uh, shoulder the weight of the relationship a little bit, but at the same time, your partner is giving you a lot of emotional support, okay, which is a great thing. So, um, yeah, so take that trip. If you're coupled and or if you're like newly dating and you're thinking about taking a short trip, do it by land. That would be the safest route. So thank you for watching. I hope you um, like the reading. Please like, share, subscribe, and... Um, I will see you next week for the weekly reading. Thanks for watching.